on behalf of more than 100 national medical students associations, IFMSA lauds the efforts of the Secretariat in advancing WHO reform. We highlight our appreciation for the efforts to improve WHO's engagement with non-state actors, particularly within the youth sector, and we believe that the regional office have a key role to play in the process. Meaningful youth participation has increasingly emerged as vital to effective global health governance and member states through the WHA Resolution 64.28 specifically request the Director General to promote the participation and empowerment of young people as key stakeholders in health development, including in the work of the organization. Moreover, the same resolution urges member states to support the role of young people with special attention to youth organizations. With a view to facilitating young people's empowerment and participation in influencing their environment and shaping public policy. We believe this is particularly relevant to the regional office where the link to the local reality is stronger and therefore are more capable of adapting to specific needs and strengths. Furthermore, we believe the regional office for Europe can be an outstanding example to follow given that the region it serves has already a culture of youth inclusion and some institutions even encourage youth participation in policy making and decision making. As such, we would like to invite the Regional Committee for Europe and its member states to join us and ensure the specific recognition of youth organizations in the overarching principles of WHO's engagement with non-state actors at all levels, national, regional and global. As a youth organization, we have been working to forge coalitions with other health professions and student organizations in an effort to promote greater youth participation. Prior to the 60th World Health Assembly last May, we convened more than 40 young leaders from around the world and across disciplines to craft a unified youth voice on key WHA agenda items affecting youth. We hope that Member States, the Secretariat and the Regional Offices will provide support for this kind of initiative and create formal spaces for youth engagement. Moreover, we challenge Member States to ensure the presence and active participation of young people in their delegations and initiatives, as well as build meaningful collaborations with youth at the local and national level to ensure issues directly related to youth receive appropriate consideration. Youth voice is critical to the future of global health and WHO, Children and young people, compromising more than 50% of the world's population, will inherit the global health care system and shape the world's health. Furthermore, youth face barriers to accessing health care services and are vulnerable to a unique set of health risks. Youth organizations are posed to address these barriers. Most importantly, youth brings a unique and creative perspective. And in addition to ensuring greater youth participation within WHO processes, we encourage Member States to continue to make swift progress to clarify policies in WHO with respect to managing conflicts of interest. A case-by-case -case approach to this issue is insufficient and threatens to undermine the integrity of WHO. We believe that financial and commercial interests must be fully disclosed and managed in decision-making processes. We specifically encourage the development of a clear policy including procedures and criteria for involvement of non-governmental organizations with conflicts of interest. As a voice of young people, we urge Member States to ensure that the WHO that emerges from the reform process is the WHO we want. A WHO that meaningfully engages with youth organizations and is safeguarded from conflicts of interest. This is the WHO we want.